have to encourage yourself. Sometimes you have to speak victory during the test. And no matter how you feel, speak the word. The name of that song is Encourage Yourself by Donald Lawrence and the Tri-City Singers. It was released in 2006, three years after I was born, yet its meaning and influence on me is timeless. And I know you said to leave your music alone, mama, but sometimes you just gotta go back to when music had meaning. Am I right, church? <laughs> and before I continue, I wanna thank Lady and Bishop Ellis for giving me the opportunity to speak. Now, as I think about those lyrics, I am reminded of the tale of David and Goliath. You see, many of us are facing our own Goliaths in our own lives. You know, they may be the bosses at your jobs, uh, 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 bills, family and or friends, or maybe even something at school. We all have issues that are bigger than us as a person. And sometimes we try to deal with said issues from a different angle. But notice how I said different angle instead of the right angle. Y'all gonna catch in a minute though. You see, some of us are trying to deal with our situations by approaching them in their physical form instead of their spiritual form. Let me say it in another way. We do not bring our situations to God before we try to deal with them ourselves. 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 37 says, The Lord who rescued me from the claws of the lion and the bear will rescue me from this Philistine. Now, this young boy, you know, probably a few years younger than I am, wasn't afraid to go, and, to go on the battlefield and fight this dude. Now, David, he had older brothers, probably twice his size, who were scared to deal with the giant task at hand, pun intended. <laughs> but David, he went to God for strength and encouragement, and he succeeded in everything he set his mind to. David was met with lions and bears, and all he had was a wooden stick. Now, we all know that wooden sticks break easily, right? <laughs> but he still managed to kill those creatures that were bigger than him. So why are we scared to go knock on our boss's door and ask for a raise? David killed a giant with a sling and a pebble the size of a water bottle cap. So why are you scared to go confront that bully at your school? David once made general over Saul's army. He he completely destroyed those armies that were more aggressive than his own, am I right? So why are we afraid to go back and get that degree? You know what, take me for example. My band director over there, he made me section leader over the drum line at the end of my sophomore year. Now usually that's a position you would get your senior year. But because I worked hard, I earned that position. Now keep in mind, let me come over here so y'all can see me. <laughs> I haven't changed much since my sophomore year. Besides this little peach fuzz, I call a mustache. <laughs> but I was excited because I got the position. Nobody thought I could get it. And apparently nobody else was excited for me either. You see, many of them threatened to leave the band. And you know, my, so my freshman and sophomore years, I was you know, helping coming up with um, parts for songs or you know, teaching choreography. Don't ask me to show y'all, I'll show y'all later. <laughs> but you know, it got to the point where I was starting to doubt the gift God had blessed me with. 
you know, I went to Mr. Gaines. I was like, hey, you know, I don't know if I can do this. He was like, you got this. I'm going to talk to them. It's going to be straight. You know, I was still facing some issues. So one day after band camp, I said, I'm just giving it to God. I said, God, give me the courage and the passion to lead these group of young men and women. And for the next few short months, because our football team is not good at all, we, I did not face any more problems. And you know what, actually, it wasn't just that. My drum line was the best drum line at every football game, every performance. I'm talking parades, battles, it didn't matter where we were. We outperformed and outplayed any and everybody. And then the pandemic hit. Now for some students, news of being at home for school was great news. But for those involved in extracurricular activities, it was our worst nightmare, especially for seniors. But in July, I was made leader of the band, drum major. That's a dream come true, y'all. It was an ounce of light in a thick fog. But then the bad news just kept coming and coming. You know, one second, our season is canceled, then the next, it's not canceled, but we can't go to any away games, which was, you know, a good chunk of our schedule. And then we couldn't get our practice schedule uh, approved, and then it was, but now we went from having three to one performance. But it didn't matter, though. Despite all those things that happened to us, we still performed to the best of our abilities. And you know what, our faith and trust in God paid off. You see, in February, I was trying to figure out if I wanted to go into the Air Force, because I, I scored high enough on the ASFAB to go, or if I wanted to go to college. But that was when my course director called me and said, hey bro, you can go to Kentucky State University, you know, be in a band, choir, and musical theater programs. Full ride, don't even worry about it. Then a, then a few weeks later, Mr. Gaines called me up and said, hey, still in college. That's a great opportunity. They're looking for music majors. So I applied, got accepted, and was offered $5,000 a semester. But you see, while God was doing big things in my life, he was also doing big things in Mr. Gaines' life. You see, Central State had called him up and said, hey, we need a new band director. What's up? You know, we'll give you anything you need, everything. Come on, just come on. Mr. Gaines accepted it and said, hey, let me make sure that this is everything it's supposed to be, and you might have a full ride. So I said, I don't know, because you ain't say the name of the school. <laughs> but he said it's the HBCU, and that's where I'm trying to go. <laughs> so I said, okay, I'm going to halt everything for Stillman, and I'm going to wait for your command. Show sure enough, the weekend of Mother Day, Mother's Day, after church, actually, he called me while we were at Old Charlie's. Right, Mama? We eating, and sure enough, I reach in my pocket. Hey, bro, your mama there? Yeah, yeah, she, she's there. I give it from my mama. He's like, Mama, I, Isaiah's getting the full ride. Don't worry about nothing. Just make sure that you pay for everything else. Full ride. Don't even worry about it. Tuition paid for. Anything that I pay, like housing, Books, anything that I pay for Stillman, covered. So right now, as I stand in front of y'all, I am proud to say that in the fall of 2021, I will be attending Central State University. Joshua, the first chapter, verse 9, it says, 
This is my command. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Now, before I step down, this is one I want everyone to do. I don't care if you're watching from Facebook Live. I don't care if you're watching from Instagram, wherever you're watching. I want you to elbow bump your neighbor and say, speak over yourself. Encourage.